All right, here we are, strongisland.com, my house show. I am LA the boss. I'm sitting with Darren. How you doing, man? Doing good, brother. How you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, as we said, you came uh, highly recommended from uh, Tony Trofa. <laughs> nice. The Thank Beast, you, Tony. Yeah. AKA the Vinyl King. Yes. There's a, is it true? You're the Vinyl King? Yeah. <laughs> He, he is definitely up there. There's yeah, no question sure. about it. I mean, every the time he comes here, he, he spends vinyl. So, and uh, you know, it's it's not easy. He's got to spend money. He's got to, you know, um, he's definitely the man. So we appreciate him here. So um, I have never met you before. Yeah. So this is the first time I heard you. Your music sounded great. Thank so you. Really appreciate, appreciate it. appreciate you coming down here. I appreciate being here, yeah. Tell us uh, a little bit about yourself. Uh, first of all, tell how did you meet Tony? Well, I've I've known Tony for for a while, you know, uh, you know, close uh, circles and stuff like that, friends of friends and stuff, and everyone always talking about him. But uh, I'm part of the Soul Revival system. Okay. We do the Sunday Soul Revival parties. Uh, we've done a couple of Saturday nights, and we had Tony as a guest. And uh, I didn't know what I was expecting. Maybe more vocally stuff because I know most uh, a lot of Long Island DJs are very much into that vocal, you know, house sound. Okay. But Tony came in and he like really knew his stuff. He was playing some really abstract stuff and really heavy stuff, you know. And so how long ago was that? That was about uh, two months ago, two, three months okay. ago. And uh, we've been talking about trying to get together and doing something, you know. Okay, awesome. So um, a little bit about yourself. How long have you been DJing? Um, over 20 years now. Um, I guess but 23, 24 years, something like this. So you've been doing it a while. How did you get started? Yeah. What, what type of... Um, music did you start spinning? Well, I start off as a hip hop and that's a jazz, trip hop, red groove type of thing, you know, side room, early early morning after hours type of thing, you know, a little more on the, uh, the down tempo tip. And what brought you into house music? Well, you know, there was always like the up tempo styles of that stuff, like the uh, Ninja Tune stuff were, were big influence for me, Cold Cut, um, you know, those guys are legends, you know, uh, Giles Peterson, and to me it was less about playing a particular style, but um, Connecting all the dots, you know, like it's all it's all connected, you know, down tempo, soul music, drum and bass, even mm -hmm. uh, house break beats, you know. So I've played it all, and I've played it all in sets too. Like I've never, up until the last couple of years, I've really stuck to one particular style during a set. And now I'm more known to be a house DJ, but uh, more like a freestyle DJ, not exactly. in the sense of the '80s freestyle, yeah. but like you know, all over the place, you know, showing the connection. So what is it? Was it about house music that made you feel like that was your little niche that you wanted to, well, to work I, on? Well, I've always been into house music, you know, since the the late '80s, you know. Um, but I just never like to really be pigeonholed into one particular style. So I've always played um, some uh, jazzier house sounds and stuff. Um, and then in the in the uh, late 90s, I started getting more into the, the new jazz and broken beat scene in conjunction with house and still down tempo. Um, you know, again, just keeping it all over the place and having fun with it, you know. Okay. Do you have any, um, do, or, or I mean, I don't know, but do you, do you dabble in any production remixes or playing I around do, like that? I, I do dabble in production. I have a, a little uh, studio at home and stuff okay. and uh, a big record collection to sample the hell out of. So Have you released anything? or you? Uh, no, no, okay. I have uh, I have not. I've done some tracks and stuff, but never um, proper releases. Is that one of your goals to actually uh, get some tracks out there? Yeah, I mean, you know, nowadays it's more, you know, I'm a family-oriented guy. i got a family and stuff, so it's yeah. less... Uh, less able to do it but the, with the spare time that I have mm -hmm. uh, certainly enjoy being in the studio and working on production cool what are some of the uh, give it give us uh, an idea of some of the, the DJs that you kind of influenced and also some of the uh, producers that you know maybe uh, well, influence you to get into actually producing as far as coming up I mean as a DJ in particular I mean it's you know back in the 80s uh, Red Alert Chuck Chill Out uh, Tony Humphreys Frankie Knuckles of course you know um, but then I think once the, the the rave scene started too, getting influenced by those sounds, you know, not just uh, you know commercial, more commercial sounds. Um, I think getting the internet was a huge thing, obviously, you know, and then becoming exposed to DJs overseas, guys like uh, Giles Peterson, and Michael Rutten, and uh, Patrick Forge, and some of these guys who were kind of you know more adventurous, you know. 
anyone I feel I feel uh, to me in particular it's like uh, someone who's playing the same kind of rhythm over and over it, it doesn't really keep my attention gotcha. so you, you like guys who are a little more versatile yeah yeah yeah, yeah kind of yeah. take you on a, a ride rather just keep you in that one right. sound for so long right I mean you know exactly like I like long sets and stuff to play for an hour is kind of a difficult thing sometimes for someone like myself I've played uh, nights where I play six hours straight you know start off with dub and down tempo and reggae sounds build into more you know beat orientated stuff some of the like la beat scene stuff um and the uk beat stuff uh, then you know build into breaks and house and broken beat yeah i, I agree because you know house music is is pretty much four four so it's yeah. like when you stick to one style it's like where are you going with it after a certain amount of time you know so if you if you are spinning you know if you're spinning for one hour and then you're walking off and then that's it that's right. fine but if you really you know, entertaining a crowd for more than a few hours, you really yeah. gotta have more than just one particular genre. Yeah, yeah, and it, it all depends on your crowd too. I mean, you know, you, you may have a crowd that only wants to hear, you know, Tribal House or, you know, more crossover type of stuff, vocally, uh, stuff that's uh, on the remix of crossover tunes, but then you, you can find these adventurous crowds that kind of want to explore it with you. You know those those kind of evenings are so really wonderful. So you enjoy that more though? I do personally. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. yeah. You I know. agree. Because even I don't go out much, but when I do, I, I do like it. You know, to kind of change a little bit throughout the night. You right. Because after a couple hours, you're like, all right, I need something a little yeah. bit different. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's like you know guys like Giles Peterson, Mr. Scruff. I mean, these guys are they they they, they just take it everywhere, and I, I I've always enjoyed that. You know. What were some of your uh, more memorable moments spinning? Um, you know, uh, Turntables in a Hudson I played a couple of times. That was always uh, really lovely. You know, Nicodemus and those guys, are, they have a wonderful crowd. They've always had wonderful venues. Um, you know, so it's always been really cool. And that that crowd will go everywhere with you. Okay. You, you can certainly take it everywhere, and they're, they're more than happy to go with it. Um, some some of the, the um, caffeine layaway reunion parties have been very memorable um, for me. Uh, I've played a couple of those. And uh, it was just a wonderful event, yeah. Awesome. And uh, opening for Louis uh, at Movement in oh, uh, nice. okay. when Rob James did his event there, All he had right. me open for Louis I, that night. I was there that night. Yeah. So, okay, yep. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. It was a great night. Yeah. That it was, was a, a good really night. good crowd. Everyone was dancing and smiling. And Absolutely. It was beautiful. Shout out to Rob James. Yep. Uh, yeah. Rob yeah, James is the man too. Man. Cool. Yeah. Absolutely. Another another amazing DJ. Yep. Absolutely. Um, what do you enjoy most about DJing? Um. I <laughs> I guess just seeing my friends and strangers just enjoy themselves. Enjoy themselves. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a very typical kind of answer, but it's, uh, you know, no, no, it's the truth. You know, it's uh, it's nice that kind of thing where you're 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 really feeding off of each other and you're exchanging that kind of energy. I think that's that's kind of fun. Are you good like uh, reading the crowd? I, I I you know I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it in in certain environments, yes, you know. Um, in like you know I, I more of a you know play all over the place house techno -y type of stuff um edits and disco -y stuff so i more of a, a basement beat down type of dj so when you're in those environments where it's a nice intimate crowd you know not a, a mega club or something where people are really you know kind of there for the specific reason mm -hmm. I, I think those have been the most memorable and enjoyable environments for me to play in so what kind of control? I seen you. You were on a controller, but you weren't yeah. sure if you wanted to use it. I think you just got it. You said, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just got it. Um, you know, to 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 kind of mess around with it because I I had I do dabble now in waves and and stuff like that. I mean, I have a tremendous record collection as well. Um, but it's just uh, you know, you you go with the evolution of it. You you go with the and it's it's fun and it's easy and you can have access to a lot more. I do enjoy that whole idea of just bring a crate. I've had parties where, you know, my partner Omar Santiago and I, we would play all night and we'd bring like five crates of, yeah, exactly. five crates of records, you know, and it's like, it's nice, but I'm in my 40s and, you know, my back's kind of shot. Yeah, so it's nice to bring a laptop and a, and a controller. And I know a lot of my old school friend DJs would look at me funny for that, but yeah. at the same time, it's, it's, it's nice. You yeah. can really bring a bunch of stuff and, 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 and it really is. do what the, you want to do with the, it. The amount of, of, of a catalog that you can bring to an event these days yes. is, is really amazing. I mean, if I want to get silly, I have a, over a terabyte of music on a hard drive. Yeah. So it's like, you know, you can really 
have you access have to so much. Right. And it's so easily accessible where back in the days you you know you used to be digging, you know, you used to know where your records were, but you know, you yeah. still had five, six crates and you know, you're only able to bring so much and uh, yeah. now you pretty much have anything it is a, a huge notice. There is a huge vinyl scene still going on. I mean, you know, the it, it, it's nice. It's become a boutique thing, a very specialized thing. You know, two, three hundred copies burned, uh, made, you know, pressed. And it's like I watched. I used to work in distribution, so I watched the downfall of vinyl uh, in real time in the two yeah, thousands. Yeah. And it was a very depressing thing. And I bucked against this whole CDJ thing first, obviously, and then the MP3 thing. But then I realized, you know, you can sit there and talk about the good old days and all that other stuff. But, um, you know, you, you go with the times, too, and you evolve with it. And it still presents just, you still present what you're bringing. Yeah. You know, and, and the auto, the auto uh, sync thing sucks, but you're still presenting what you want to convey. Yes, I got you. So how do you, how do you get your music now? What are the avenues that, you know, you look, you know, should, do you get some free, you, you purchase some? Uh, I get, I get some uh, promo stuff from people I've met over the years. Um, but yeah, no, I go to the same sites as everyone else, the track sources, B-Ports, Juno Download, uh, you know, uh, Bandcamp now in particular, I've really enjoyed because I think most of the proceeds goes to the artist or the label as opposed to the middleman as uh, you know, gotcha. some of these sites now, you know, they take a large percentage and the artist is making okay. nothing. So what are your um, what are your your goals over the next couple of years? What are you looking to do? You have anything you want to accomplish or uh, musically? Yeah, musically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I like playing out. I have a, a good network of uh, DJ friends and associates. I mean, this uh, Soul Soul Revival system is really nice little crew. I have some old friends uh, that, I, that I still like to DJ with. Um, so Don't I guess. Help. Help. Uh, soul revival system what's that all about well i i know uh, i derek and i have been playing together for 20 years now uh, i know ivan for for quite a long and we we ran into each other by chance and uh we're discussing about trying to throw something on long island which you know worked into this uh these soul revival parties which were fun you know very intimate little environments on sundays in the afternoon be nice, have a couple of drinks, dance, listen to great stuff where we can feel free to play whatever we wanted. And uh, it was nice. Gotcha. And it was free. Yeah, it's free. Free is um, always good, right? All right, so you know these guys over here? Uh, it depends. <laughs> why, don't, why don't you bring one, bring one at a time just real quick and introduce them. Let's okay. see. I don't know. They came in here with champagne. And you know, you know, and you know, uh, Poos, uh, Derek Sessions. He's I know Derek. What's up? Old school hey, cat. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ivan and Eric. They're uh, E Double and Ive Ski. Both uh, amazing, amazing DJs. Uh, very, very uh, tasteful DJs. You know. Well, de we definitely have to get Derek back. It's been a, it's been a while, right? You have been. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe one awesome. night me and Derek can come back. Yeah, Derek and Absolutely. I together. Yeah. We we'll get. Well, come on, we can, <laughs> we can handle it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> we'll, ju we'll just yeah, I've been I've been playing with Derek for for well over twenty years now. Uh, all sorts of crazy, crazy parties. I, I see you using yeah. my uh, my champagne cooler. Nice. Yeah, I see those around too. Well, what? They've been sitting what kind of parties are like these? Two years. <laughs> They look good, you know, empty. Now they look really good, Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. All right, so we definitely got to get you guys in, in here one night also. Yeah, these guys, Ivan and Eric. I mean, Eric with the Northern Soul. And Ava, I've heard him play a couple of house sets where I was just, like, blown away. Really, really deep, heavy selection. These guys yeah. are still doing what I used to do all the time, you know, which is great, you know. Guys like this and Omar, I mean, Santiago, he's all over the place, too. And he's just always, always so amazing. Yeah, you do, you do need Omar here. All right, well, we need a little uh, takeover. Listen, like, yeah. like I always say, we are we are not a closed unit here. We are not no. a clique. We love when we bring new DJs in. We're always looking for new blood in here. And uh, we would love to have anybody. You guys are all invited. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. anybody, even if you guys want to bring anybody, just let me know. Absolutely. All right, so is, Tony's almost ready. He looks like he's ready. Yeah. What, yeah. Is there any last uh, shout outs or anything you want to say before we go? Shout out to all my friends and my family. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Trofa, how you doing? That's everything. You ready? All right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, so thank you very much, man. Thank really you for having me. It. Absolutely. Really a pleasure. Yeah, all right. thank you.
All right, so let, let me go. go. I go switch the cameras yeah. and we'll get Trofa on. Oh, I just realized it's like a TTDD night. That's weird. <laughs>